Live from the Sweater Friends Studios in New York, Crunch Gear presents the Sweater Friends News Network. Hey guys, hop off. It's Friday. Let's all hop off. Let's all hop off. But like, is that like step off, but it's you, supposed to be a little more aggressively? I believe it's step off. This is in regards to a comment that we just, uh, we just saw today uh, regarding the LG Venus. And someone was angry at our review, and they encouraged us to hop off. Okay, so is it okay for me, a kid from the Midwest, to say hop off to someone? I don't think so. I'm not sure. I really, I mean, we're going to have to look, we're going to have to go uh, to, actually, Nicholas will be able to tell us that, since he's from, uh, he's from Queens. Yes, uh, well, he, he, I, I would say yes, you can use hop off, if only because I, I'd like to see you beaten up by, uh, you know, by, uh, by a gang member. Speaking of gangs, why don't we start out with Grand Theft Auto 4? Everybody has it now. Everybody's been playing it. We played it last weekend. Everybody's really excited about it. What do you think? Uh, I mean, first we should ask our resident gang member, uh, Peter Haw. I am not a gang member. Yeah, well, he he has to say he's, he's not a gang member or else his parole officer gets upset. So what's going on? Peter, what are, what are you doing? How's your violent diarrhea coming along? <laughs> coming along quite nicely. You know, me and Peter had the same wings last night, so I think that he's maybe overreacting a little bit. Or, like I said, maybe he has a delicate constitution. It's possible. If somebody were to use a key gen and generate a key that happens to be the same as your key, it would disable your copy, and if there's no... As far as we know right now, there, there's no appeal and no oversight process. So okay. you can then call them and say, you know, what's going on? They pretend to say, you know, STFU, hop off, and that's it. You're done. I had a hell of a surprise in, in the morning. I found out that John's kid, who's two years old, speaks fluent uh, Polish. So I woke up to him. He was like, 12 little monkeys jumping out of the bed. And then John's wife walks by the room, and he's like, Pretty Diox Brody, Madre Dusha Bobre. Oh, Pretty Diox Brody. You assume he's speaking perfect Polish, but unless you speak Polish, there's no way to tell for sure. Because it could yeah, be exactly. that, that he and John and John's wife were all speaking gibberish. 